And we have refused repeatedly to uh, to talk to the Russians. We've broken up. There's two treaties, the Minsk agreements, which the Russians were willing to sign. And they said, we will stay. The Russians didn't want the Ukraine. They showed that when they when the Donbass region voted 90 to 10 to leave and go to Russia, Putin said, no, we, we want Ukraine to stay intact, but we want you to sign a Minsk Accords to, to you know, they the Russians were, were very worried because of the U.S. involvement in the coup in Ukraine in 2014. And then the oppression and the and the you know and the killing of fourteen thousand ethnic Russians and Russia has a nat the same re- the same way that if Mexico put Aegis missile systems from China or Russia on our border and then killed fourteen thousand uh, expats American we would go in there. Oh, he does have a national security interest in the Ukraine. He has an interest in protecting the Russian-speaking people of the Ukraine, the ethnic Russians, and the Minsk Accords did that. It, it left Ukraine as part of Russia. It left them as a semi-autonomous region that could and, uh, continue to use their own language, which is essentially banned by the coup, by the government we put in in 2014. Um, and uh, and we wouldn't, we, we sabotaged that agreement. And then in we now know in April of 2022, Zelensky and uh, Putin had inked a deal already to another peace agreement and that the United States sent Boris Johnson, the neocons in the White House sent Boris Johnson over to the Ukraine to sabotage that agreement. So what do I think? I think this is a proxy war. I think this is a, you know, this is a war that the neocons in the White House wanted. They've said for two decades they wanted this war. And that they wanted to use Ukraine as a pawn in a proxy war between uh, United States and Russia, the same as we used Afghanistan. And they, in fact, they say it, this is the model. Let's use the Afghanistan model. That was said again and again. And to, to, to get the Russians to overextend their troops and then fight them using local uh, fighters and U.S. weapons. And when President Biden was asked, why are we in the Ukraine? He was honest. He says to depose Vladimir Putin, regime change for Vladimir Putin. And when his defense secretary, Lloyd Austin, in April 2022, was asked, you know, why are we there? He said to degrade the Russians' capacity to fight anywhere, to exhaust the Russian army and degrade its capacity to fight elsewhere in the world. That's not a humanitarian mission. That's not what we were told. We were we were told this was an unprovoked invasion. Uh, but and that we're there to bring a humanitarian relief to the Ukrainians. But that is the opposite. That is a war of attrition that is designed to chew up, to turn this little nation into an abattoir of death for the flower of Ukrainian youth in order to advance a geopolitical ambition of certain people within the White House.